Ooh, my name is Gareth and welcome to Fat Pigeon Audio Reviews where today, <laughs> today we're taking a look at the Technics C70 Mark II. So the Technics C70 Mark II, not Mark I, Mark II. This is the newer variant of the Marks one and two. Anyway, so if you've watched my channel before, a lot of you know out there that I love Technics. I was brought up on Technics. So when I was at Audio Lines the other day, a guy called Kevin from Technics turned up to show uh, Mark from Audio Lines some products. They wanted to put some of their products within their shop. And I just happened to be there and I met Kevin. Wonderful man. Got along really well. Had a good laugh and a giggle. Very down to earth guy. Um, and he said, I'll tell you what, you got a YouTube channel. And he says, you know, I've heard good things from Audio Lounge. Took it on the channel. See how you get on with it. Have a play with it for the weekend. And I have. I've been playing with this for a couple of days over the weekend. And thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Audio Lounge Lester. gritty of it all. I like I say, I'm a big fan of Technics. There's a place in my heart for Technics. There always is going to be. I was brought up on Technics. I don't know how many, how many items I've had that were Technics. Speakers, turntables, CD players, rotary CD players, five disc changes, amplifiers. I've had them all. I've gone through loads and loads. Tape decks, double tape decks. Just love Technics. That's just what, like I say, that's just what I was brought up on. So the fact that, like I say, a guy from Technics said to me, would you like this on your channel? I was like, oh my God, yes. And here we are with the C70 Mark II. Now, again, I've been playing with this for a couple of days. I've, only, I've not got it for long. It needs to go back to the shop. Um, but it does pretty much everything. Anything you can think of, this can do. Apart from wipe your eyes, basically. Might be right. It does Bluetooth. It's a streamer. It's AirPlay. Um, it's got Chromecast built into it. It's got uh, Tidal Connect, Spotify Connect. It's got Deezer. It's got FM radio in it. There's an FM radio aerial point at the back. It's got DAB radio. It's got anything. It's got a USB uh, input for a USB um, card, so you can listen straight from the USB, and it displays it on the screen. It does FLAC files, WAV files, MP3, AAC. I mean, I'll put some specs up. But the thing, this can do everything. CD player. I've got a CD player on the top. I forgot about the CD player. With this lovely pivot point where you move the drawer, the, the actual the actual door of the CD player on the top, you slide it out of the way, and it pulls around to the side, and you put your disc in. It literally does everything. Feather touch buttons with on the top of it. Um, that just beep, 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 click and not. It's very nice. It's aluminium. Made out of aluminium. Solid bit of aluminium across the top with a brushed finish to it. This one's black. You also get a silver one as well. So with inside the actual unit itself, it's got a 12 centimeter down firing subwoofer. It's got two 8 centimeter forward facing drivers as well. Woofers, they call them. And then two separate 2 centimeter silk dome little tweeters, but they've got this sort of lens on it, or lens on the tweeter. Again, I'll put some information up that sort of disperses the sound in the way that the Technics want it to do so. And when you get into the sound of this, the width and the sound stage that this small little lifestyle speaker, stereo system, it's a compact stereo system, that, that, that what it can produce width-wise, size-wise, scale, it's very surprising. It's super nice and it's clean. The crispy highs that I always strive for, not too crispy, I hate too crispy, harsh all that, ear fatigue, I don't want that, but I want something crispy and I want the symbol to resonate and, and be floating away from me with decay. And this sort of gets there, it's, it's not a, this is not a, you know, two stereo speaker setup. This is not an Arcam amp with floor standard speakers, whatever else, F500s, all your speakers. Are. This is a lifestyle speaker, it's an all-in-one compact design. But the sound that comes from this is, I'm always sort of striving as well. I do say on my channel a lot. Well, I used to, and not so much anymore, but I used to try and find this smile on your face factor. And this does it. This does it. Because you've got the little box, and you see the little box, and you press, you put the CD on. That's what I listen to first. I listen to the CD first. 
and it throws this soundstage out at you. And you think, oh my God, oh my. And you think this little box, but there's stuff up there. I've actually made a separate little video uh, when it's on my fireplace. Um, so I can sort of gauge um, and show you how wide and what sort of scale you're getting from this. So I'll add that in now, say. So here I am on the floor of my lounge. And I just wanted to add this little section to the video because I wanted to get you like a sense of scale. So this is this is the machine itself. This is the Technics itself. Don't don't worry at home. Don't panic. This is this is actually a water vapor fire. <laughs> no, it's just it's just a water vapor fire. It vents out the back. This doesn't get hot on top at all. Uh, I'm not damaging the equipment. I'm not damaging the Technics. Oh my god, I wouldn't damage the Technics. I, I wouldn't. So. Like I said, I just wanted to get on down here on the floor so I can show you sort of the, the scale, the sound stage that this is producing with the fireplace and the TV. Now, the TV is a 55 inch TV um, and this is the fireplace here. I mean, I'm going to cut my head off here. So this is this is where this is the size of it. Now, for the speaker itself, when you're actually playing music from this, it's got a beautiful wide sound stage for the actual size of the unit itself. And I was very surprised, pleasantly surprised with what I was getting. And obviously the clarity and the cleanness of the actual strings and things like that. So I thought, just I'm going to say in the video, I probably already have said in the video, uh, in the review itself, that it has got wonderful soundstage and it is very detailed. But I just wanted to sort of, so I'm sitting at the sofa at the back behind the camera where you are. And what sort of happens is, is you can hear strings and the vocals are sort of up here. They're floating up here. They're not coming from the speaker. It's very clever in that way. So there's the vocals and most on most tracks, they're coming from around here, slightly higher from the actual speakers and from the unit itself. And then, every, and then there's a guitarist sort of playing over here. It's just floating around here about where the giraffe is, Mr. GG rap here. So it's just sort of like floating around here. And every now and again, you'll get a bell or a ting or a cymbal comes up here. I mean, this is a long way from it. The sound stage that it's producing is right up here. And same this side. It's the same this side. You've got certain things, drums, things like that. Drums sound lower down here um, from the little bass unit, from the little driver that's firing downwards. And you get in that sort of sound stage over here for drums. And again, with strings, vocals are here. You've got so much ambiance. You've got so much sound stage width, width to the actual speaker itself from this small little unit. And I just want to just get sort of a scale. Um, like I say, this is a fireplace. This is about four foot tall. And then you've got a 55 inch TV. So the sound that you're producing is very good. I mean, I used to have two speakers here. I used to have a speaker there and a speaker there and listen to my stereo that way. But this is sort of throwing the sound out anyway. And you don't need these two. I mean, if you want stereo and stuff, obviously you need your two speakers. I'm not, I'm not saying dump your speakers and get one of these, but this is a lifestyle speaker, an all in one unit. The width. It's creating this beautiful sound stage through the, across the whole of this fireplace, past the fireplace, out to here. And I just wanted to put this bit in just to show you how much you're getting from this speaker. I was astonished at how much you were getting from this. I mean, I might be able to. There's actually a CD that's came in it. I, I've borrowed this, as I said before, from Technics. And there was a CD and a USB stick in the back. So it was there like demo test tracks and things like that. So I've been going through the CD. Uh, and I can't play too much because I'm going to get copyright strike. But I want to sort of, ho hopefully you can hear through the mic. Um, let's have a look. For me here, that string is about here now. So let me just come, hang on a second, I'm ruining my jeans. Let me just come back here. Oh, it's the end of the track. That's perfect for a video, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's skip that back. Uh, go for them. So for me, the first bit of string is about here. It's floating about there. 
which is which is it's, it's how it, it's getting this sound stage up to there. It's a very nice high sound stage. Again, vocals are up here, but then when the second string cuts in from this piece, it sort of fires it over here and it's playing over here. But then you've still got that guitar in the center. So the lower, the lower strings are central, then the little twangy bits that are crystal clear, so clean. Um, and very detailed. I mean, hopefully it's coming through on the microphone. I mean, I'm not sitting in the center and the microphone's on me, but just bear with me, bear with me. Yeah, I know that's not gonna come through. I'm really sorry, I do apologize, I do apologize. But like I say, the center string, the main string, and every now and again it flings up over here and down here. Um, nothing so far on the right of the track yet, but that comes in later when it all kicks in and I can't play it to you because of copyright. But trust me, the sound stage, you're getting it out here, up here, bells, cymbals up there. Again, you're getting drums, kick drums, whatever else, and it's just so wide from this little box. I just, again, I'll, get, I'll go back to Gareth on the chair. Yeah, we'll go back to Gareth on the chair because my knees are killing me. So for the connectivity on the back, like I say, you've got obviously you've got your power lead. It has that USB um, input on it, like I say, for a little USB stick. So you can listen to WAV files, FLAC files, AAC files, so any sort of file you can think of, MP3. You plug it in and it comes up on the screen and the name and the title comes across the screen. You've got an aerial as well for your DAB radio and your FM radio. Obviously, you've got a LAN cable, your Ethernet port in the back as well. So you can connect it to your internet. That's when you're going to get your Tidal, your Spotify. Don't get me wrong, it's all wireless as well. So it's got that connection. It's also got an optical in, a digital optical in. And then it's got a 3.5 mil in. So if you've got um, a turntable, phono stage built in or separate, you can actually plug it into the back of this as well. So you can run a turntable through this uh, and just put it onto the 3.5 mil line in input. And it's also got, it's actually rear ported. So it's got two rear ports on there as well. Um, and apart from that, that's pretty much it. But everything else is sort of built in. It's all very internet based. And obviously it's got the CD player. So on the top, you've got a row of six touch sensitive buttons that beep, go beep, boop, beep, beep, boop. In fact, can we do it now? Let's have a look. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Um, oh, it's, just so, it's so nice. It's so nice. I don't know if you got, I know it was like less than a second, but. The warmth, rich tones that comes from this is just lovely. I do like it a lot, the sound quality. Uh, let's get back to the buttons. So on the button, like I say, on the top, you've got these six buttons. You've got six of them are feather touch, like a touch sensitive, that beep, as you can see. Uh, one of them's fav, which is favorite. Then you've got, you select, so you select your input, USB, CD, all that sort of stuff. Then you've got skip backwards and forwards, and then you've got stop, play, pause. And then separately, you've got two actual individual buttons on the top i'll show some images uh for your for your volume controls some people might think i mean this is this hasn't got album artwork on the front but i mean at this price point this is 799 so 799 pounds at the moment um as of this video so 799 it's not really going to get i mean the screen does exactly what you want it to do it tells you all the information that you need um which is great that's what displays are for it displays the information but it hasn't got album artwork now a lot of people think oh i prefer the album artwork i want to see it on there but when i'm sitting all the way back over there i don't need to see the album artwork it's on my phone in front of me because i'm using tidal or i'm using spotify so i don't necessarily need that so it's not a big thing for me uh, but i know i do understand that some people want the album artwork but you need a decent sized screen for that and if you're putting a decent sized screen on this it's no longer 799 you're over a thousand pound now to get a decent sized screen and it's not about that it's about this lifestyle it's about getting this small form factor in your room with such this big, big sound that it produces. And the bass is there. Again, I cannot emphasize how wide and how high the sound stage is on this speaker. As you can see, it comes with a remote control. You've got all the stuff that you want on the remote control itself. You use your, your volume up and down. You can actually control 
Spotify titles, whatever's going through the source in this, you can control it by skipping backwards and forwards. You can pause title, you can pause Spotify, Deezer, Cubos, all that sort of stuff, which is, I thought was really nice because some, some don't allow you to use the remote for that sort of network, sort of online provider feature, but this does. So you can skip through all your tracks on your playlists. Um, you don't want that when you, you know what I mean? It's got everything that you want. You've got all your source inputs on there, your Bluetooth connectivity. It just does it all. Now, it, like I say, it's, alum it's brushed aluminium, solid, it's heavy. It's a heavy unit, and it seems super well made. It even looks well made. Now, this is obviously the black one. They do do a silver one as well. Now, I'm a sort of I'm a fan of silver. I, I, if I was to get one, which I might even, I might actually get one. If I was to get one, I'd get it in silver. Now, I don't know where I put it, but I'd find somewhere for it because this this Technics C70 is just again it's classed as a lifestyle speaker. So it's not it's not going to be you, if you've got stereo systems at home. Um, where you've got big, like I say, big floor standards and fantastic amplifiers and all that sort of stuff. It's not going to be that, but it's not for that. It isn't, it, that's not its purpose. It isn't its purpose. It's an all in one compact unit. And as that compact unit, it's one of the best I've heard. It's, I mean, I've not heard that many. I, I don't know what competition this has. I looked online to see what sort of, uh, reviews, what other people thought of this. Because I was sitting down thinking this is just too good to be true. Maybe I'm, maybe I, my mind is mangled with the fact that I'm such a Technics fan. Um, but everyone's given it great reviews apart from what Hi-Fi and what Hi-Fi gave it three stars. And I don't understand why they've given it three stars. I normally sort of look up to what Hi-Fi, um, and a lot of the things that they say on what Hi-Fi, I agree with them. I say, yes, that is true. Um, it has got this, it has got that, but with this one, I'm sort of like, no, I don't know why, what, no, it's got that, the detail and it's got great separation for the size of the unit. Now, obviously your drivers are very, very close together. Um, and the detail, like I say, on strings and stuff is there. I'd like a little bit more bass on certain things, but not all the time, just to get a bit more oomph out of a trumpet or out of a saxophone. But again, it's not, I'll, I'll go to my main stereo for that. This does an absolutely wonderful job of the sound quality and the sound stage and getting this music across to you just sitting in a counter somewhere. Now, it's actually got quite a few settings within the app as well. Um, so you can go into the Technics audio app and you can say that it's placed towards a wall or it's sitting in the corner or it's in the middle of a room and it just, it adjusts the DSP inside and adjusts the bass and stuff to alter for that, to cater for your room needs. Um, it's also got balance controls and things like that, but I keep them off normally. It's got a remaster, um, button that you can toggle on for the CD player to give it that little bit more quality. So you've got plenty of different settings in there. Now, so if you play around with those settings, you can sort of dial it in. It's not as much as some of the other ones. It's not as much as some of the kefs and all that sort of options for that and how far away you are from the wall. It just says, are you next to a wall? Because, again, it's rear ported. And you say, yeah, I'm next to a wall. And it sort of reduces things for you, controls the bass more for you. But if you're in the middle of a room, it can sort of up that bass because it's got room to breathe. Um, like I say, with the tone controls, you can alter all this sort of stuff. You can alter your treble, your bass, and all that sort of stuff, and your balance. Now, talking of balance, this is a very well-balanced sort of system. It's a focused sound, but if it's focused as in it feels focused to me with, with vocals and things like that. I don't mean focused as in it, you've got to be sitting right in front of it, because you really don't. Again, wait, I, I wanna, uh, you need to listen to one of these. Just to see how wide this thing can throw music. It's astonishing. And I've got the Harman Kardon speaker. That's about £300. But it's a singular speaker, just one driver in there and a tweeter. And it's, I thought that was very good. It still is a good speaker for its price point. But this just throws it. I mean, I, I was going to get my dad round, but my dad's got a very good ear. So I might even get my brother around. Now, if I get my brother around and I sort of position this correctly, I think I can turn the display off because you can turn the display off on this. Uh, so it's, you know, for purists, it's even better sound. So I was thinking about putting this on, having my two normal F500s that I've normally got and maybe changing the stands up and say, oh, ask my brother what he thinks of the sound. And I might just put this on and see if he can actually say, oh, no, this is, you know, this is that's definitely that. Or if it's, or if I can fool him. But it's the F3, F500s. I mean, he's not into music that much. My brother isn't, which is a shame, but he isn't. So I may be able to fool him. Most people you wouldn't be able to because the F500s are a great speaker. But I think this has got the width and the scale to fool my brother. And I'm going to try it. I think it will just be fun anyway. So I know I keep going on about this, how wide it is. And we get that now. We get that now. It is. And it's surprising. But it's just the way he does it. It's just this presentation, this focused presentation. 
it's just got the detail that you want. And the separation, like I say, is very good. I didn't expect the separation of the instruments to be this good on this sort of product. But again, it is. And it's got it's got the detail from strings and vocals and warmth from the vocals, female vocals, male vocals. And again, it's got that sort of lower end bass. It's not too much bass. But it does sort of, I mean, you can turn the bass up. Don't get me wrong. When you go into the tone controls, you can really make this bassy. But again, I've just took, kept it direct. So it's just a pure feed coming from the CD. Nothing's been tampered with. That's sort of, that's how I like it. I did say it was against the wall, like I say, and it sort of controlled a few more bits in the bass for me. So it wasn't too much. Um, but how, how clean the highs are. Um, and how, and how, how good the vocals are. How, how warm and rich the vocals are. But with this detail of the high end and the strings, I'm a massive fan of strings, and the strings sounded so clean, so clean. The fact that this thing sounds as good as this and it is has this bubble of soundstage that's it's super, it's super airy. Um, the way it just fills your room, it's like it fills the whole, whole front of my room, and you can't really tell where the sound's coming from because of how it's got, like I said, the separations there. You've got this, you've got strings over here. And I know I've, I think I've probably already put the video in. So I, you've already probably seen that it, it sounds like string. You, you may not be able to hear it through my microphone. But again, I've said about the strings here and, and you can hear the lower bass and kick drum down here sort of thing. And how it's doing that is that obviously that new technology, that, that sort of lens thing that they've put on the tweeters. And it works. If that's new, then keep hold of it because it really does work and throws this sound out. Now it's very the, the bass isn't super textured. The bass itself isn't super detailed. I've, I was trying to find something that was sort of you know I've got to say something bad about it I suppose because I absolutely love this thing. Um, big Technics fanboy, but the bass it's not as detailed as I'd like it to be. It is controlled um, and it's got a little bit of texture to it, which is quite nice. But it's not super detailed on the bass. It's not as as responsive and as fast as i'd like it to be but it does keep up with most tracks that i put through it um but again it's 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 a lifestyle speaker you haven't got a sub somewhere you haven't got big drivers eight inch drivers just producing the bass um and at this price point for 7.99 it's just good i just like it i love it it's so exciting to have something techniques again techniques had a big a big gap out of the market for such a long time you don't really see any new products from them i don't get me wrong this isn't a brand new product there's a one but there's a there's a mark one before this but this is the first time i've seen it and heard one um and the fact that all your lines lester is now going to stock techniques is super exciting to me super exciting and i cannot wait to review more of their products uh, i know they've got new amplifiers out with the uv meters that jump around and bounce around which i love that as well um but this, build quality-wise, absolutely spot on. I like the fact that you move the CD door and put it out of the way. There's no mechanism in there to keep it nice and smooth and sleek on the top. The screen is ample. The screen is more than enough for you to see your tracks at 10 to 15 feet away. I can see them fine. Um, it's just, it's, I know they've gone for a neat look, a modern look. So it can just sit in somewhere, part of your furniture maybe, a modern furniture type. Um, I picture this in like a penthouse somewhere, in any room really. I mean, this is not a penthouse and it just sits nicely wherever I've put it. It just blends in. But then this big, beautiful sound waves come out at you. And the width, again, I know I keep going on about the width. And I know I'm focusing on the width and I apologize. Just go and have a listen to one. Please go and have a listen to one and see if you can hear what I can hear. Because you should be able to, you will be able to, because this is what it does. Fine detail, rich vocals, basses there when you want it. Dance tracks come alive on this thing with that little driver, that 12 centimeter driver. Does so much work. It does so, it's just good. Everything comes out at you that's, oh, I need to, oh my God. It's also got, I've just been rambling about how wide it is. It's also got a headphone jack on the front, 3.5 mil headphone jack on the front, so you can literally plug in. Listen to the system that way. Um, sit in your armchair like I am now, plug it in and have a listen, which is, which is great. Not only do you have your CD player on the top, your USB in the back, wow, files, flat files, stuff like that, stored music, your DAB radios, your FM radios, your, all your streaming providers as well, your Bluetooth and many, many more airplays and things like that. You've also got that optical on the back. 
So, so picture yourself. Say if you've got a room with a TV on a stand and you've got this little gap about that big on your stand. You put this on your TV stand underneath your TV and you've got your whole music system, everything that you want. Like I say, CD everything. And then you take that optical lead. So you get an optical cable, you take it from your TV and you plug it into the back of this. You select select the, the, the optical cable on the, and it's a soundbar. So now it really is doing everything. It's a soundbar, it's a CD player. It does your music, it does your movies. I mean, I think for seven nine nine, I think that's a wonderful price for something that can do so much. Really, I don't. I know there's other products out there, and I'm, I'm very new to this sort of higher end stuff. And I don't really know what's out there. I'm pretty sure there's quite a few things out there, but I'm not sure what's at this price point and what's at this price point for seven nine nine that can do as much as this can. Again, soundbar, CD player, it does everything. Dab radio, normal radio. So what else? What doesn't it do? Again, like I said earlier, the only thing it doesn't do is wipe my eyes for me if I'm, you know, a bit teary eyed. So I just, I cannot say enough about this, like I say. I, I, I would like, like I said, the downside, I would like a, a little bit more detail, just a little bit more detail in that base, maybe. Um, and a little little bit more response in this, but for everything else, it's absolutely fine. And for most tracks, it's absolutely fine. But again, it's not this, I've got to sort of come down to earth a little bit that I've been listening to very expensive stuff recently and on the channel. And this is not a £7,500 speaker. It's not going to do what I expect that. You know, I've just heard that from that speaker and all that. It, it is phenomenally good for 799 And like I keep saying, there's stuff that it can do and the width and everything else. It's a no-brainer. Go and have a listen to one. All I say, if you go and listen to one, I'm pretty sure you'll come out with one. I really do. I know. I really do think. Uh, I know it's been out for a while. I'm not sure how. how ooh, auto off. Um, I'm not sure how these are selling, but oh my God, now I know they exist. <laughs> I think, I mean, this hobby, this, this hi-fi hobby um, is very expensive. It can be very expensive. Now I just, I'm trying to get my system built up with better speakers, better amps. And then something like thrown all this in the mix. This Technics C70s thrown in the mix. And now this is going to cost me more money before I can then upgrade to my better amplifier and stuff like that. But what a journey. What a journey it is trying out all these different things. I love it. I just love that. I don't get paid for any of this on YouTube. I just do this for fun. And it is fun, especially when people like Technics are lending me their products. I cannot wait to get more on the channel. Um, this, was, this was like, it wasn't necessarily a review, this video. Um, it was just a quick look. So I haven't really spent, I've had the weekend with it. I have just a couple of days. And I don't really think that's long enough. I've not really got into the nitty gritty of, oh, before I go, before I go, there's actually a setup process with this. Um, so you can sort of like place it where you want to place it and then it will use a microphone. So you can plug a microphone into this and it tests and shoots out different sound signatures. Boo, 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 boo. Right. So it throws them out at you and it tests the room. So it knows how, where furniture is and, you know, soft furniture and hard furniture is on. But you can also use um, the microphone on your Android phone or iOS device. So you can use that as the microphone. So you put it where you're sitting. And then it will test and send out these signals and your microphone will pick it up and it will sort of calibrate it with a DSP, um, the digital sound processor with inside, and then it'll alter it for your room. And it uses your phone. You use your phone that you use every day. And that's how it dials in your room for you. Like I say, alongside the balance controls and the, the room adjustment controls within the app, it's just, what doesn't it do? Okay. I'm going to leave it there. I'm not sure. Yeah, my mic's still on. I've done this. I've done a couple of takes earlier, um, uh, and my battery died on my microphone. Technology, eh? I love technology. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. And like I say, please stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> please continue to watch the channel. Subscribe, like all the good stuff. Um, and oh look, my watch is going off again. Thinks I'm working out because I'm so animated all the time. Um, and hence why I'm so thin, like I've said before. Um, yeah, I'll call it there. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below for um, Audio Lounge Leicester that are now stocking these. Um, and fingers crossed, fingers crossed, hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.